the UN Refugee Agency is urging neighboring countries to keep their borders open to allow people to seek asylum in light of the situation inside Afghanistan. These latest pictures show people waiting in the open near Kabul airport, hoping for a flight out of the country. The UNHCR says most Afghans are unable to leave their homeland and that those who may be in danger have no clear way out. The BBC's Sekunda Kamani now reports from Kabul. This is crowd control, Taliban style. Outside the airport, thousands of people desperate to leave. This is the road anyone being evacuated has to travel along. The Taliban repeatedly stopped us filming. They don't like the images of so many Afghans fleeing their rule. They've denied claims they're at times preventing some Afghans with valid documents from entering the airport. But many of those here don't have a visa. They're still hoping somehow to leave. I want to go anywhere else other than here, says this man. All the embassies and offices are closed. What can I do? Then Taliban fighters bring the interview to an end. The Taliban are everywhere you go in Kabul. They're heavily armed, but for the most part in the city, they're friendly. Outside the Canadian embassy, more chaos. Hundreds of people frantically scribbling their names on pieces of paper, hoping it will somehow lead to a visa. The embassy has already been evacuated. These people have no real information about what they can do to leave Afghanistan, but they're desperate. In fact, they're coming to us. They're asking us, is it true? Will the Canadians give me a visa? The fact is, most of these people will never get one. This family haven't spoken to anyone at the embassy but heard rumours if they turn up, they'll find help. There's war, misery, I can't even buy bread for my children, says this man. New footage of the even more chaotic scenes at the airport earlier this week. Some parents so desperate, they hand their children over. And new details on the horrifying story of those who lost their lives. One of the young men who fell from a plane clinging to it even after takeoff, a talented footballer who had played for the national youth team, part of a generation of Afghans now facing a deeply uncertain future. Sikandar Kamani, BBC News, Kabul.